What's up, everybody? Casey Hendrickson here. I want to thank you for tuning in and listening. So first of all, hit that subscribe button, the follow button. Depends on which platform you're actually watching this video on. By now, you've probably heard that Dan Bongino is taking over for Rush Limbaugh. Well, not really. We'll talk about that here in a second. I'll kind of explain what's going on. Now, before we jump into this, I just want to make this crystal clear. I'm not attacking Westwood One, and I'm not attacking Dan Bongino, who I think is a fantastic host. I just want to clarify what is actually happening for people out there who don't really know what's going on in, in radio. Uh, the other thing that I also want to do to kind of address is how there's a lot of articles being written about this that, frankly, are written by people who also don't understand how radio is working, further causing the confusion. And for my radio audience, this does not affect the Federated Media 95.3 MNC or WoWo family at all up until this point. Although many of you have received a survey from Federated Media recently, which did ask who you would like to see added to the lineup on MNC, not specifically in Rush Limbaugh's old time slot, but just in general. And Dan Bongino's name is deservedly on that list. Now, I will say this, Dan Bongino is one of the two other shows that I listen to on a regular basis as a radio professional and a talk show host myself. So that's, if you ask me, I think that's high praise. I think he does a really good job at what he does. And I think that he is deserving of a three-hour show that is syndicated all across the country. What is not happening, though, is Dan Bongino is not taking over the Rush Limbaugh show, as some of these headlines seem to suggest. Here's a little bit about what I mean. Conservative commentator Dan Bongino to take over Rush Limbaugh's radio time slot. <clears throat> Not really. That is the Daily News. Let's go to Fox. Dan Bongino to take over Rush Limbaugh radio time slot. Okay. Fox News knows better because Fox News does radio syndication. Beyond that, let's go to World Net Daily. Broadcaster picks Dan Bongino to fill Rush Limbaugh's time slot. More accurate but still a little confusing for people. So before we go any further, I'll just leave it on the uh, Fox News one. Before we go any further, let me just kind of explain just some basics. Um, I, I run into this quite frequently, and Rush Limbaugh was often attacked by liberals in the press who did not understand how radio works, and they would attack the way that his show was distributed and that sort of thing as if it were some giant conspiracy or that he wasn't as popular as he really was or what have you. Uh, none of those people know how radio works. So let me just give you the basic crash course. For you program directors out there and other radio professionals, you'll probably notice there's some nuances, some things missing, but I'm just trying to simplify this for the general masses who aren't really familiar with how radio or the entertainment industry in and of itself or the news industry actually tends to work. You have radio stations. Everybody knows you have radio stations. Radio stations are owned by a company. Now, they can be independently owned, which means you have a small company that owns, you know, one or two radio stations or something of that nature. And then you've got big companies that own radio stations. Some of those big companies, you know, uh, well, CBS Radio, Clear Channel, Cumulus, uh, Sinclair, you, you get the idea. Those companies own lots of radio stations all over the country. And by and large, those companies run similar or the same syndicated content, which means those shows. Let's just talk about the talk radio aspect of it. If you have Cumulus, which is, of course, a part of, of well, Westwood One is a part of Cumulus, I should say. If you have Cumulus radio stations and you have a, a syndication package, you know, if you're Cumulus, you're running your own product on your own stations. It helps promote that. You might have a show or two outside of that. That's certainly true. And that was the case with Rush Limbaugh for many of these stations. But generally speaking, companies like to promote their own content. So if they have a syndication company and they own radio stations, they tend to like to put their own syndicated content on their own radio stations. It's not 100%. There are certainly talents that are highly sought after and our ratings gets that stations will bring in that are syndicated by different companies. But by and large, you want to promote your own content. So when I get syndicated um, to WoWo and things like that, that's because we're both owned by Federated Media, and it helps Federated Media out by being able to promote their own talent. This is just something that happens in, in the radio industry. It happens in the television industry. It's a really basic thing. So you've got radio stations, and somebody owns those radio stations, okay? So 
Yes, they could be small independents. Yes, they could be regional companies. They could also be big national and even international companies sometimes. Then you have syndicators. Now, you can self-syndicate now, and that is growing, and that is an effort that I will be launching later this year. Self-syndication is certainly something that a lot of hosts are looking at and growing. If you have a syndicator, what a syndicator does, they basically, they collect their own lineup of talent. They have shows that they offer to radio stations for a price. And sometimes those are package deals where you have to take two or three shows. And uh, if you take one show, it has to be live or there's an extra premium or something of that nature. Those are different contracts that, that go out there. This, I'm trying to make this as simple as I can, but you have to understand that this is going to be crucial to understanding what's happening with Dan Bongino because people are obviously confused. And I've already received some text messages from people going, what's going on? Uh, are you not taking over Rush Limbaugh's spot? And we still don't have the answer to that on Federated Media. They're looking at a couple of different options. For the record, one of those options was Dan Bongino. And we don't know what's going to happen with that. He may very well take over Rush Limbaugh's spot on 95.3 MNC. We'll keep you posted. So, Got the syndicators now. They have shows that they syndicate to radio stations that are owned by other companies. All right? Premier Radio Network, Premier Syndicated Rush Limbaugh's show. Well, now they're obviously, they're auditioning new hosts. They have a gap to fill in their lineup because Rush Limbaugh is no longer with us. And they have to fill that time slot for Premier Radio Network. So they've got to be able to have somebody that they can sell to radio stations in that time slot. They haven't decided who that is going to be yet. And there's going to be a lot of radio stations that will choose to take whoever Premier, since they have contracts in place, they'll get a they'll get a discount on that contract most of the time, I would assume anyway, considering Rush Limbaugh's show is oftentimes very expensive. But they will they will put put somebody in there. Premier will make an announcement of who takes over that show. And some radio stations will stay with it. And other radio stations will choose not to carry that program and will go with somebody else. Now, this is where the Dan Bongino announcement is confusing some people. And it's really the way the headlines are being written. So the title of this video might, might be a little clickbaity. It's accurate. But I don't want people to think that Dan Bongino or Westwood One are manipulating or deceiving anybody. They're not. Truthfully, Dan Bongino is getting this show in Rush Limbaugh's old time time slot for Westwood One. But Westwood One does not syndicate Rush Limbaugh's show. Therefore, Dan Bongino is not taking over Rush Limbaugh's show. And there's still a lot of listeners who are confused about EIB and you know who's going to replace Rush Limbaugh on the EIB network and that somehow whoever replaces Rush on this EIB is going to just be the person that you hear instead of hearing Rush Limbaugh like you used to. And that's going to be universal all across the country. That's not going to be the case. There's going to be hundreds, maybe even, depending on how things go, possibly thousands of different talents that will, will fill that void that we have lost with Rush Limbaugh. So you're going to see a lot more radio hosts uh, I think come out into the prominence, and they're going to be they're going to become much more well known. Whereas you know before they they didn't really have an opportunity to do that. Uh, you will have people like Dan Bongino, who has one of the most popular podcasts in the entire world, suddenly getting a three hour radio show, which I think he's completely and totally deserving of. And I think he puts on a really good show every single day for for an hour. I would love to see him do his thing for three hours. I am enjoying this announcement from Dan Bongino, but he's not taking over Rush Limbaugh's slot. So when you read a headline such as conservative commentator Dan Bongino to take over Rush Limbaugh's radio time slot, what the average layman out there who doesn't know anything about radio and isn't in the industry sees is that, oh, all of these people that have been doing Rush Limbaugh's show since he passed away have been cast aside and Dan Bongino, who nobody has heard on the Rush Limbaugh program, is suddenly going to be the host of the Rush Limbaugh show, but now they're going to rename it Dan Bongino. That's not happening. That is, the headlines are completely misleading, okay? None of that is going on. It's two completely different companies. You got Westwood One, which is going to syndicate Dan Bongino's show, and you have Premier, who did syndicate Rush Limbaugh's show. They're not the same company. Westwood One is not taking over Premier, okay? So this is just, the way that the headlines are written are just confusing people. 
uh, even on Fox. And Fox knows better because Fox syndicates radio programs. So I'm a little surprised that they ran with this headline. Uh, but Dan Bongino to take over Rush Limbaugh's radio time slot. Again, to the average person out there who's listening to this, they're going, oh my gosh, Dan Bongino is the guy. He's the one person that is now taking over Rush, Rush Limbaugh's show. So everywhere that Rush Limbaugh's show used to be, you'll now hear Dan Bongino. Not true. It's not what's happening. And again, my, my whole point here is just to provide clarity. I am in no way, shape, or form attacking Westwood One or Dan Bongino. Um, you know, obviously there's some marketing that's happening here, but also the news websites that are posting this, while Fox knows better, there's some that don't know better. Uh, and they're just, you know, they hear that Dan Bongino's taking it over and, and that sort of thing. I was on uh, Reddit earlier today, and there was a local radio show who had reached out to the, the Reddit uh, thread and said, hey, you know, we're looking for somebody to replace Rush Limbaugh. Who do you think we should we should do that? And a lot of radio stations, as we highlighted before, uh, 95.3 MNC sent out that survey here just a couple of weeks ago asking the very same question. And, you know, that led to some people saying, well, my sources at Westwood One say that, Dan Bongino is taking it over. Hmm? No, he's not. Now, let me go to Talkers Magazine. Now, Talkers Magazine is our industry Bible, if you will, I guess. It's our industry trade publication. There's a couple of them that deal with, with, uh, with uh, radio in general, but Talkers Magazine is the one that everybody uh, looks at. So here's their explanation. Just I want to, again, just trying to make this something that is easily understood by the average person out there not in this industry. Westwood One creates new early afternoon show hosted by Dan Bongino. Conservative commentator and podcaster Dan Bongino is the host of a new daily talk radio program being syndicated nationally by Westwood One. Not Premier and Premier syndicated Rush Limbaugh's show. Different company. So he's going to be syndicated by Westwood One live from noon until 3 p.m. Eastern Time. That's Rush Limbaugh's time slot. For those of you in other parts of the country, you listen to Rush Limbaugh at a very different time than when it actually airs because of the time difference. Uh, let's see. The program launches on May 24th and will air on Cumulus Media news talk stations that aired Rush Limbaugh including in top 10 markets such as New York, Los Angeles, Chicago, Dallas, San Francisco, and Washington, D.C. All right, then they go into the bio of Dan Bongino of, of who he is. That's, that's the details right there. So Dan Bongino is not taking over for Rush Limbaugh. The EIB network, by the way, isn't a thing. Um, it's a marketing thing that, that Rush had. It's not like a radio company uh, at I don't, you know, I've, I've tried to explain this to the audience a couple of times. People don't get it. They've heard it for so long. It's a part of the show, um, and they're confused by it. But Rush Limbaugh had a radio show. He signed a contract with Premier. Premier syndicated his show to all of Rush Limbaugh's affiliates, these radio stations that are owned by different companies, okay? That's the end of it. EIB is not a part of that equation. Um, and Premier is looking to find a replacement for Rush Limbaugh in their lineup, that they can syndicate to radio shows since they, they had now have a vacancy. Westwood One has nothing to do with that. They are a completely different company. They syndicate other talents. They've had Bongino. They've got Ben Shapiro. Um, I believe Westwood One. They may not have Levin anymore, but at one point they did. I'm not sure. I have to go back and look at their lineup. But Westwood One's a, a, a big company, and they're a good company. Now, Westwood One, Cumulus, their sister companies, and they are going to take the Dan Bongino show that they just created. It's going to air in the Rush Limbaugh time slot. And they're going to send it to all of the cumulus media news talk stations that did have Rush Limbaugh. So if the radio station that you listen to in your market is owned by cumulus and used to carry Rush Limbaugh's show on May 24th, you'll hear Dan Bongino. If your radio station that you listen to every single day is not owned by Cumulus, you likely won't hear Dan Bongino. You'll continue to hear whatever Premier Radio Networks is putting out or whatever your independent uh, radio station decides to do. And some of them may very well decide that they want Dan Bongino to fill that void. And as I've told you before, he's a really good host. He does a fantastic job. And if you've never heard Dan Bongino's podcast or now his radio show, I would encourage all of you to listen to it. Like I said, he's, he's one of my regular listens, and he's only two people 
that I consistently listen to outside of my own show. There's others that I poke around here and there, but, um, but I think that he does such a good job that I can listen to him nearly every day. Uh, same with Steven Crowder. So there's just some good people out there. There's a lot of talent in talk radio right now. So Dan Bongino deserves this. Dan Bongino has earned this. Um, and grad- congratulations, Dan, if you happen to see this on your clean bill of health. We wish you all the best. But this is not something that is a universal takeover of every radio station that used to air Rush Limbaugh. This is only going to affect the cumulus media-owned radio stations who also aired Rush Limbaugh. Dan Bongino's show on May 24th will take over on those radio stations and those radio stations only. There will be other radio stations that buy the package, that buy the rights to also carry Dan Bongino's syndicated radio show. A lot of those stations will not. Okay, A lot of the radio stations that do carry Rush Limbaugh will not do that, but many will. And I think Dan Bongino will earn some affiliates um, as he does the show for a couple of months for people who haven't heard Dan Bongino's show before because, again, he's, he's very good at what he does. So I just wanted to clarify that Dan Bongino is not taking over every radio station time slot where Rush Limbaugh used to air. That is not happening. It is only happening on Cumulus Media radio stations and then some other stations that decide to sign that contract as well. So congratulations to Dan Bongino, and thank you very much for listening. I appreciate it, and you all have a wonderful afternoon. Make sure you hit that subscribe button or that follow button, depending on which platform you're actually watching us on. Really do appreciate your time today, and you have a good one.